Hello, hello beautiful Leo, welcome into my channel, The Rare Gazelle, my name is Reem and welcome into your reading. This is going to be for the full super moon on June 14th and new moon on June 29th and what do you need to know? I did do a collective reading um, and I will post it in the description box down below, I'll just link it if you are interested in checking it out. I just wanted to do all signs because I... I feel like we need to dig a little bit deeper into what these energies mean for you. So we're going to take a look at what energies of the past are being released and exiting into the full moon crater portal that we channeled in the collective. We're going to take a look at what shadows are coming into the light. And we're also going to take a look at what are the new moon energies heralding for you in your new cycle. So what new energies are coming in. And then we'll also take a look at some advice. Okay. So for beautiful Leo, sun, moon, rising, and your Venus. What energies of the past are being released and exiting into the full moon crater portal. What energies of the past are being released and exiting for beautiful Leo, sun, moon, rising, and or Venus for beautiful, beautiful Leo. Paths unknown. Interesting. What are you releasing? You're releasing knowing. You're releasing knowing or the need to know. Paths unknown. King of Roses. The Karmic Trench. And Reflection. With the journey on the bottom of the deck. So what are you releasing, Leo? I feel like you are releasing, first of all, you're releasing karma. Okay, here with the karmic trench. Um, there's a lot of things that are being reflected upon at this time. This could be a heart's reflection. Um, it's all coming, it's very heart-centric. It's coming from your heart space. There's a lot of greenery here with these two cards, heart chakra and red um, being the root chakra. I feel like you're grounding um, or learning how to ground your desires, grounding your desires, grounding what it is that you want and what it is, what it is that you need. There's a lot of reflection here happening from the heart space. Um, and I feel like you're releasing... You're releasing knowing. I feel like you're stepping into the unknown, Leo. I feel like you're really stepping into the unknown and you don't know what's about to happen. And so I feel like you're facing some kind of pathway here and in your past energy, what you're releasing, what energies of the past are being releasing is knowing. And so you're kind of saying to the universe, you know what? I don't want to know. I want to go into my new pathway not knowing. I've learned from my karmic lessons. I've reflected on what I want and what I need. And I just trust that this pathway is going to deliver what I need and what I want in my life and the experiences that I want to have. And so I feel like you're not fixating on outcomes or expectations on who, what, where, when, why, and how. I feel like you're really just trusting the unknown and getting into the unknown with such confidence and such grace and trust not only in the universe and the cosmos but most importantly trust in yourself so that is really beautiful energy leo um that's coming through yeah trust in the self yes with that self card um all right So what shadows are coming into the light, Leo? What shadows are coming into the light for Leo? What shadows are coming into the light for Leos? Yeah. 
um the riddler like the the puzzler uh the decoder i'm getting like a lot of energies of like trying to constantly figure something out constantly need to know um it's almost like you, when you get in that kind of energy you kind of spin yourself and you kind of like knot yourself or, or you create knots in the knowing instead of trusting because trust is sustainability flow is sustainability here with the sustainer and i feel like that is something that uh like the riddler here is kind of coming through as like a self-confusion energy like to confuse oneself by thinking too much by trying to overanalyze by trying to figure it out by trying to constantly know and you just create more code it's like this codex that you can't seem to figure out and that energy is just not sustainable so these are the shadows that are coming out for you which may be a little bit uncomfortable because it actually is around the need to control so you have a lot of energies from the shadow coming up into the light that are around control and how to sustain the self how to sustain the self the temple how do i take care of my body how do i take care of my temple how do i sustain my temple um so i'm getting a lot of um energies with you that actually you have neglected your temple um there is a father wound here at the bottom of the deck there is a father wound that is coming up for you um i feel like the father is around this like self-confusion of like um constantly needing to know it's like what path are you going to take on um what are you going to study in school um oh you're going to be studying that well why don't you study that that makes more money and it's almost like that is what you try to honor that is what you try to do that this message actually um came out in scorpio's energy so you could be connected to a scorpio or have scorpio in your chart but you kind of you know figured that energy wasn't sustainable for you because it wasn't aligned to who you are you were someone who wanted to try new things um yes you wanted to figure out the code of the universe you wanted to figure out a lot of different things and you also wanted to make your father proud this doesn't also have to be a, a, a father figure it could just be someone that had a father archetypal energy in your life it could be even your mother um that had a father archetypal energy um but i'm seeing that this energy just wasn't sustainable for you and it kind of like led you down a rabbit hole is something that i'm seeing here with the riddle um like you went down a lot of cosmic rabbit holes trying to unravel secrets and and things about the universe and it actually took you away from taking care of yourself here with the temple you focused so much on finding the truth outside of yourself that it actually led you away from the truth of yourself is something that i'm seeing here um so there's a real heavy emphasis this month around the full moon and the new moon of taking care of your temple what are the energies that are needed and required to sustain the temple to sustain the self this riddle is going to resolve itself okay you're going to get secrets of the universe you're going to get truths you're going to get you know things that are unknown be known to you when the time is right um i feel like the focus needs to be on your mind your body most importantly and your spirit okay leo um it's the energy that i'm seeing so um let's get into the new energies what are the new moon energies heralding for you in your new cycle Okay, so what new energies are coming in for you? What new energies are coming in for you? For Leo? What new energies are coming in for Leo? A tidy house, a tidy temple, clarity and organization i love that i love that you're no longer in this knotted energy or self-confusion there's going to be a lot of clarity there's going to be a lot of organization this is a lot, a lot of healing refreshing energy and rejuvenation energy most importantly not just of the mind but also 
of the temple, okay, of your body, okay, there's a real emphasis on taking care of your body here, keeping a tidy house, okay, which is your temple, all right? And what other new energies are coming in? Ooh, limitless possibility. I love that for you, Leo. Limitless possibility. Stars in the sky, number 51, uh, which is six, okay, which is balance and harmony. We are also in year six. And you have spirit of the river, number 50, which is five, significant of change. Movement towards adventure. That's beautiful energies that are newly coming in for you here that the new moon is providing. This limitless possibility, I feel like, um, again, like once you release this constant need to figure things out, <laughs> I feel like you're going, going to step into this natural rhythm and natural cadence and flow of the universe and of yourself. And you will start to tap into your personal limitless possibility your personal well of capabilities personal well of possible energies that's something that i see here for you you're gonna feel like you can do anything i see you starting new things let me get some tarot on this as well i want to get a little bit more and movement towards adventure. Doing things that you haven't tried before is also going to be so key for your health, your mind, your body, and your spirit. Again, paths unknown, okay? You're moving into the unknown. You're releasing all the knowing and you're saying, I'm okay with not knowing. That's what I'm going to release and I'm just going to step into this with trust and that's what's going to herald you into moving into this new adventure this adventure that has limitless possibility and it's really going to take you by surprise. So let's see. And you're also going to surprise yourself in this energy. You are going to surprise yourself in this energy. All right, for Leo, the hanged man. Patience. I'm getting a lot of patience with the hanged man. Two of Wands, there is that movement towards adventure. Where do I want to go? Look at the map. Look at the globe. The choice is yours. Possibilities are open. Possibilities are endless. And this is something that you have enlightened yourself to. These are things that you have paused and reflected upon in that energy of trust, in that energy of I'm going to go when I feel it is necessary to step into that energy. Um... I'm also getting um, the number 212. Virgo had that energy, that number 2, 212, I think. Yeah, they did, 212. Something about February. Again, there's a lot of Aquarius February energy. Ten of Wands. Yeah, I see releasing. Eight of Cups. It's that release. Releasing the burden of, of constantly needing to know. Okay, so that's just spirit confirming that energy. But I feel like you're gaining a new perspective on life and that is really what's going to assist you in moving into that limitless possibility. I feel like you're really going to try new things and those new things are going to surprise you. Um, you're, going to, you're going to be in a really nice adventure here, Leo. Um, I'm also getting a, ro a new romantic adventure for some of you. Um, that's actually just decided to come in. Just new adventures all around. Yep, I'm telling you. As soon as I said um, love, you have here the fool and the lovers came out together. Um, so don't stress and don't worry. This is where you're moving to. Here with the chariot, don't hold yourself back. Four of pentacles, okay? You don't always need to know or to see to a source. You just need to trust in the work that you have been doing. Eight of pentacles and what you feel and how you want to feel in your space. All right, so I am seeing a new romantic possibility here happening for you, a new romantic adventure or a new cycle, okay, of romance and adventure with the partner that you are currently in. I'm seeing new adventures. I'm seeing travels. I'm also seeing someone is moving in with you or you are moving in with someone else. Like the possibility, the world is so open to you, Leo. Um... 
there's just so much adventure here for you. It's actually, it's really, really exciting here. Um, I just see you taking the risk here with the fool. You're really all in. You're really all in. I love it. That's beautiful energy. Some advice. One more. Thank you. Okay. Okay, so the very first card was Dancing the Rainbow, uh, number seven. So I'm getting a heavy emphasis on the month of July or in the beginning of the month of July. But this says, break free from whatever you feel is holding you back. Express happiness. Find out what you truly desire. And that was something that we mentioned earlier about desire and that heart chakra and rooting your desires, right? And then you have take note number 22. There's again with that two. So you do have here two, two, two with the two of wands. Your answers are being given to you. Quieting external voices and excessive noise will give you the chance to hear what is being offered. Okay, and then you have number 17. Safe and surrounded by love. Keep your heart open and know you are being protected. Listen to what you know to be true and allow yourself to see and understand what is going on around you. Beautiful Leo, thank you so much. I love you guys. Until next time.